Oh, hey there! Welcome back to welcome back to my Funland. We're, uh, we're we've been adding to it a little bit. We have some we have a couple ideas, but uh, we haven't done anything since we built we built the wild ride yesterday. We had a good good night's sleep though. Uh, but uh, pickle did remind me of something that I never I never actually had the connection tool open when we built the ride. So I thought we'd start off today's episode just by checking out how the wild ride actually worked. It's pretty simple, with only a couple of connections, and I think I spy Pickle over there already. Yep, there he is. He's gonna show us how this, uh, how this ride works, since we didn't cover it in our, in our first episode. So let's take a look here. It's just a couple of things. We can see when we have our connection tool open that we can look at all the bearings. There's only a couple things going on. Uh, maybe Pickle can explain a little bit of what we're seeing, but I see two switches. Uh, one switch here when I turn that on. Uh, there's a motor here connected to all the chairs, so that controls all the chairs. And this switch is just a motor there connected to a bearing here, so it's turning this bearing. So it's only, it's only two motors, and you know, really one bearing for the whole plate and then one bearing for each chair. So it's a super simple design uh, with the switches. Well done, Mr. Pickle. It makes for a great ride. Um, how are you doing today, Mr. Pickle? Pretty good. You can uh, come over here and squat down to, to see the other inner workings. It's pretty simple. There's just a couple engines oh, yeah. and... Yeah, okay. So we and, have... Uh, a oh, you can actually get under it here. Internet. That's good. So if, if we have to do maintenance or anything, you can get under here. Uh, we look at the engines. Anyway, we, uh, we were thinking about what we were going to build. And we realized uh, if we have to think of everything that we're going to build, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. But uh, we thought of something we could build that uh, solves all of our problems, didn't we, Mr. Pickle? That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't, so uh... check it out. Over here, yeah. if you remember our box fort from before, right? Yeah, the box fort. Well, we've done, we've done a little bit of work on it to solve our building problems. Let's go check out what we've done to our box for it. Uh, it's, a, it's quite the addition to the fun land. We might have to take it down eventually. It's a little bit dangerous here. A little bit dangerous. That's right. Have a look at this. We've turned our box fort into a time machine. That's, and as, as Mr. Pickle can attest to, this is going to solve all of our problems. We're going to find out what we've built already in the future. We just have to go about, uh, why don't you say, why don't you dial the radio in for about 20 minutes into the future here, give or take. That'll give us plenty of time to see what we've built, and then we don't have to think of it anymore. We can just, uh, we can have a seat. Uh, we have our switch here, we've got to close our door. Got to say a few magic words. Didgery didgeridoo. Being able to time travel into the future to when we've already completed the day's project really solves all the planning. I think, I think we're about here. Yeah, I think this is it. This is it. Let's oh. stop it before we get... Oh, oh, that was okay. almost bad. We, we have to turn off the time travel radio before we open the door. <laughs> Let's go see what we've built. What uh, What's different? What's different? We still have the same sign. I think we were thinking about either building bumper cars or a go-kart track. I have kinda... no... What's this over here? Oh, this is... That's pretty cool. Oh, look at... Th... I have... Oh, it's a cage of some sort. Interesting. Let's have a look at what what we've built. What oh, we've a... built. What is there's this? A, there's a button. Oh. Oh, oh, it oh just Pickle closes. seems to have found the way in. Just closes. What, ha what happens? Oh. oh. There we go. Oh, it opens. Oh, what is this? <gasps> it's bumper cars. We're building bumper, bumper cars. cars. We're building bumper cars. Awesome. Yeah. These are my favorite. One of my favorite. We got three here. What should we, which one should we pick? We got the red bumper car and the blue bumper car. I can't decide, Pickle. Which one should I get? I'm going to go with the blue one. I think I've always loved blue with the purple seat. Let's let's give these things a whirl. What do we got? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Look at this. 
Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit lopsided. Not too bad. The maneuvering is not too bad. Oh, this is just like the bumper cars I remember. I remember bumper cars from growing up. They were one of my favorites. I'm excited about today's episode. This is great. What's this? What's this button I have? What is... I think it's a way of saying hi. Look, I can wave at Pickle. Hi, Pickle. How's it going? Oh, wait. Oh, his waving arm. Oh, his waving arm. Oh, it's a way of getting myself back up when I've fallen over. Oh, we truly are. We are a genius, Pickle. Look at that. You push the button, and you get back up when you've fallen over. Oh, that's great. So we're going we're gonna to give Pickle a little push here, see if we can knock him over, and see if he can get himself back up. Just have to turn around. Let's have a look here. Give Pickle just a little, a little shove. A little bumper cars. They're bumper cars. They're made for bumping. Maybe Pickle's going to knock me over. We'll have to see. All right, Pickle, let's play chicken. I, I think he might turn before before we will. Here we go. Oh, this is this is amazing. Uh oh. Oh, we gotta turn over. Uh oh, Pickle, Pickle, my my time travel watch just went off. We have to we have oh. to get out of here, folks. We have to get out of here. We only get a couple of minutes to try out the days the days toy before we have to get back to the time travel box. Get going, Pickle! Oh. We gotta we gotta go! We gotta run, buddy! Oh no, why are we running? We need a we need If a we car don't make it point. Yeah, we gotta build a car next episode because this is this is gonna be close. If we don't get back to the box in time, we're gonna be stuck in the future forever. We'll never get to make this make our bumper cars. Get back in here. Get back in the box. Turn the Pickle, you forgot to turn the time travel radio on. What are you doing, man? Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, geez. Okay, close the door. And those were so sweet. I love those bumper cars. I remember, I remember from when I was at the carnival. Well, what did you think, Mr. Pickle? Yeah, they're pretty sweet. I mean, bumper cars are, are, are definitely just the, the most superior carnival ride. They really are. They're, the, get, they're the classic. We, we could turn this off. They actually off. get to crash we... into other people as opposed to all the other carnival rides where you kind of just spin, you know? We've arrived back at the past, I think. We have to, we have to get out here and build it. So where, where were they again? Oh, that's right. They were over this way. Yeah. Oh, but they were, they were super fun. I think that's the, 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 the classic game. The classic carnival ride that I always wanted to ride when I was a kid was bumper cars. They're just, they really are the greatest carnival ride. I think every kid wants to drive growing up too. Okay, it was right here, was right? A... It was a pretty big cage with like a metal floor in it, and it was it was somewhere right over here, I think. So let's let's start That's laying true. down some floor. You gotta get out the metal floor. The metal floor, not the concrete. Okay, right. and we'll just put. <laughs>
Wow, with these onion boxes. You're standing on the next landing. That's a driver's seat. <laughs> well, well noted, Pickle. Well noted. Um. Um, what was the ceiling made out of? This. Huh. What was the ceiling made out of? Bickle's a jokester. Like he didn't see it before when we were here. Just a few minutes. It doesn't quite fit, Pickle. I have bad news for you. No. There was an opening on this end. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, Pickle. Or, you know, it didn't line up quite right. Like, more like, it was like that, wasn't it? <laughs> Put that one in. Put it back in? Put the wall back in, I accidentally took it out. about have the cage how it was can we make this a pivoting door right here there's your door That's how it was. I can't get out. up with a couple a couple of things you'll need to build these cars so that they don't flip over quite so much but a couple of things that you need uh, you'll we were using shocks bumpers my favorite is the tip assist we'll get to that These shocks don't don't work, but that's how you make how you make a simple shock. Let's get smaller. Let's look at how we how we would make this uh, the simplest of bumpers. Something like that. There's really all sorts of anything you can imagine in the real world you can mock up in this game pretty well. Some of the physics gets a little bit wonky at times, doesn't it? Especially, you always have to watch out when, when a wheel is clipping something. It doesn't work very well. Like, I'm a little bit worried about this design Pickle's working on at the moment because I think when he turns left, this wheel might clip this wooden area. We'll have to see, but... The, the what other 
we come out like this, we can place our bearing on the wheel, or on this thing, and then we can place a wheel. Oop, that's the big wheel. We don't want that. Use our smaller wheel. Excellent. This is really the basic, the basics of what we needed. If we put a here, we we'll use our connection tool. Set this up with our steering. We can see. We can see how the steering actually works. And this will allow this allows our go karts to actually actually steer. The other main feature of our go karts is a tip assist, and this turns out to be something super handy in why can't I place my vehicle down? Just want me to place it in here. I don't understand why. Can I place it outside? I can. Okay. The other main feature that we often include on our vehicles is a tip assist, and I thought I'd show you how that works. We'll oftentimes, because we fall over so much in this game, it's really handy be able to get back up, right? So, we put a tip assist on the back of our vehicles, and you can make this out of any materials. I'm just using wood here as a, as a quick demonstration of how this works. But you put a flag on your bumper cars, which works, which actually looks really, really sharp with the bumper cars, because bumper cars used to have to, or were electricity driven, right? They had the, they had the, the, sticks on the back of them anyway so that they could touch the top of the grid, right? It's not quite the same in this car. All the bumper cars in Scrap Mechanic of course will be driven by their own gas engine, but you used to have to stay connected to the ceiling in order for the cars to have energy. Bumper cars were the original electric car. It was the first electric car I ever rode in. What about you, Mr. Pickle? Probably the first electric car he ever rode in, too. That's amazing when you think about how often we could have what if we had roads that were electrified like that? We could all have electric cars that just uh, just rode around. I think I had little race cars on a racetrack that worked the same way. They just are connected to a little electric track. Are you there, Mr. Pickle? I haven't heard you talk in a while. Nope, we can't hear Mr. Pickle. Maybe his uh, Skype isn't working or something. He'll... Uh, Jump up and down if you can hear us, though. Oh, he can hear us. That's great. That's that. That's the. He'll have to work on his audio at some point and figure out why he's not talking to us. Maybe he'll hang up on Skype and give us a call back. If we look at our arm, though, we need a. We just have to wire up the controller, and then with a button we can. Oh, I see. I Skype had me muted. Welcome back, Pickle. Welcome back. We'll place a button here. <laughs> the glorious glitches of, of recording with somebody who's not anywhere near you. Really nicely. Looks just like it, it did when we were in the, in the future. Funny that. I think, I think we might not be allowed to, to make a card that's not what we saw in the future. Time travel... Might not allow us to do that. But we can see that he's built... That Mr. Pickle has built the, the same arm that we're working on outside. It'll probably have the same tip assist functionality that we're working on. Let's look at... Let's finish that up out here. No bearings connected. Oh, the connection tool. Mm. one way and then reverse direction let's see what that does so yeah this is a great way to flip yourself back over 
when you inevitably fall over. I think I hear... I think I hear an operating vehicle in here. Let's get in here. Let's close the door because we... Safety first. So now the door is closed. Still can't... Oh, I should be able to crouch out of this. Excellent. Let's look at... Oh, we have a vehicle. Oh, Mr. Pickle, I wanted to use that. That's okay. Just Let's see how we're steering. doing. The steering looks lovely. Let's take down these demonstrations. We don't need these anymore. We've we've seen all everything that we need for to make our bumper. Numbers. Do you want to have the side, or a little bit of side coverage on these things? I think we should extend the bumper out just a little bit. Be a little bit more bumper car-like. Gotta be careful not to touch the wheels. Wrap around just a little bit here. That should help us from turning over quite so easily. Just like this. This should be a fully wired up, ready to go bumper car number two. Well done, Pickle. So let me paint the... Vroom, vroom, vroom. It's not going anywhere. Um, let's see. Did you connect oh, the engine? The engine Turn isn't the... connected to the wheels and the steering wasn't going to work anyway. Okay, that should work better. Boom. Oh. <laughs> well, this works out not too bad. Just enough space for about two participants. Oh no, we left the door open. That's not safe. I need to close the door. We really need a third person in here to watch us. So that we can't... Because somebody should be operating this right, but, you know... Felix's Funland isn't always about safety. Luckily, scrap mechanic, nobody can get hurt. Uh, bump you! Bump. Are you having a hard time steering or something? Why are you falling over? Are they only front wheel drive? Yeah. Just like the ones from the future. There might have to be some safety improvements eventually so that they're not as likely to go on top of each other. I'm trying to flip you like a turtle in a dominance match. Come here, Pickle. That's right! That's right! Pickle has been flipped! <laughs> Tip assist works good. The tip assist does work excellent. I think there's going to have to be a, uh, a feature of a number of vehicles. Either tip assist or uh, assist rockets. It works really well with the bumper cars because it makes them look even more authentic, really. We could build, we could maybe have a third one in here, probably. If there was enough, if, if the viewer ever gets to come visit, we might have to build them a bumper car as well. It looks like we've scored our third, our second point on Pickle. One more point and we'll have a three point victory. Pickle just realized we're playing a game now. So now Pickle's not so interested. 
presenting any <laughs> vulnerabilities. Look at you. No, no, Pickle. We've survived. No. We have to right ourselves briefly. Oh no! We turned ourselves over. That's one point for Pickle. Did one you to two. Show how the cars are made and look at it with the controllers and stuff. Uh, yeah. Should I make one more? There needs to be three in here, really. It'll look more interesting if there's three. There's yeah, always, okay. like, there's always ones left alone in the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. Good thing we remembered to paint the floor, Pickle, because I think I think we might have lost our time travel privileges if we had failed to do something we'd seen when we went to, when we jumped forward. Gotta remember, everything has to be exactly the same, otherwise our box doesn't work anymore. The one time we forget we forget something, the box is gonna stop working. That's about how it was, but yeah, it's now good, I think we can go look at a park at the, from the top of this mountain here. Let's go. We we need to look at get a lay of the land of how this all works. I think I think we need to build a car soon. Maybe for the next episode, we'll build a car so that we can get around the fun land a little easier. My fun land's growing so quickly. Look at it. Oh my goodness. It's already getting to be so big. It's such a fun place. I, I always love coming here. Spending time with you all in, in my fun land. It's great. Uh, and now for Felix's next magic trick, he'll match up our theme song with me whistling. Oh no, I don't think I can do that, Pickle. But just for you, I think I'll make sure to include, include a little bit of the Pickle whistle. Thanks for joining us in my fun place, in Felix's fun land. Hope you join us again soon. Pretty sweet theme park you got here. Yeah. You know, one of these days, if we stay, if we sit here long enough, we might see ourselves come out of the time, uh, uh, come out of the time travel box and see what we saw. Wouldn't that be something? We have to come out of it, or we have to come out soon here. We spit...